Hi everyone, welcome to my new sum channel. I hope you guys all had a good weekend and you were all safe and sound. Um, so we all know that the aviation and airline industry has been brutally affected by the coronavirus global pandemic. And now General Electric will be cutting also about 13,000 jobs in its jet engine business. So that means in the next few months, GE will be reducing about 25% of its global aviation workforce. What GE makes is engines for the Boeing and Airbus company. And both of those companies have significantly reduced the production as many airlines have grounded hundreds of planes. At GE's US operations, the cuts have already been implemented and the overall cutback will reduce $1 billion in costs from the business. Um, now last month in March, GE said it was laying off 10% of aviation workers in the US and also furloughing thousands of maintenance staff. Besides the aviation workforce, GE has made cuts in other businesses too, such as they laid off 700 workers in the power unit and about 1,200 contractors as well. And just last week, GE announced that in the first quarter, profits have fallen 40% in the aviation unit, and they expect the second quarter will also be hard on them as well. And in April, new engine installations were down by 45%, and commercial repair visits were down by 60%. So the GE Aviation CEO David Joyce has said that as the pandemic continues to advance, our understanding of its impact on our industry and our business has also evolved. Global commercial air traffic is expected to drop about 80% in the second quarter and aircraft manufacturers have cut production extending into 2021 or beyond. GE's most profitable and biggest was the aviation business. Especially um, in the recent years, it benefited from the successful aerospace market and investments, such as their launch of the most advanced engine yet, um, the Power Boeing, which is Max Jet. And thanks to that, last year it brought in $32.9 billion in profit. And the Max engines are made in a collaboration with Francis Safran, which is an international high technology group in the aerospace market. The CEO of GE, who was Larry Culp, said that in the process of reacting to what has hit us here, if we play our cards right, we will accelerate the operational and cultural transformation of GE. And overall, the company plans to cut $2 billion in cost this year in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Thank you.